The database properties is a place you can go to to view statistical information about your database, like the size of it, who created it when it was last modified. You can also customize it. You can add the title for the database, the subject, some comments, things like that. There's a couple ways that you can get to it to view it. One way, you can view it and make changes to it, and that's within the database here. Come up here, click on the File tab, go to the Info. By default, it's selected. Come over here and click on View It and Edit Database Properties. When you click on it, it brings it up. It took me to the Summary tab, but let's go to the General tab. There's the statistical information, the size of it, the location of the database, when it was created, modified access. Now, if this database was on a server, sometimes your IT person will set it up where the name of the person will be listed here as well, in any case. The summary, and you can see I've typed in my company name, also our website, videotrainingpro.com, and you can make some comments, any changes you'd like to make here. Statistics, pretty much the same here as the general tab. The contents, the tables that we have within the database, but we don't have any queries, forms, or reports, so they're not listed. And then custom, you can go ahead and select one of these fields here, like, oh, so-and-so checked it. Who checked it? Type in the value, it was me. And then go ahead and click Add. If you want to remove it, select it, click Delete, but I'll click OK. Once you click OK, it's automatically saved. You don't have to click Save. How do you know? Let me go ahead and close out. And it's in my Exercises folder on my desktop. Let me double-click to open it up. And it was my Table Analyzer database. Double-click, and then go File, down to Info, it's already selected, so let's come over here and click on View and Edit Database Properties, and there you go. See, didn't have to save it, automatically saved it for me. And then go ahead and click OK. And then to get out of the backstage, I can either, well, of course, click on the tabs up here, or you can click on that Return to Document button there. Takes me back out of the backstage. Close out. The other way to view the properties for the uh, database here is to right-click and go to Properties. And you got some of the same information there, like the size of it, 1.44 megabytes, uh, when it was created, modified, some details, and then some other tabs here regarding security and previous versions. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.